We're here with uh, women's soccer head coach Lars Anderson previewing Wednesday night's matchup against Lander in Greenwood, South Carolina. Coach, let's go back to, to Saturday's game at Flagler. Uh, big uh, come from behind, 3-2 to two, double overtime victory over the Saints. Uh, talk about the resiliency of your team uh, and how that game helped your confidence a little bit moving forward. Well, it was a game that got off to a quick start. We scored uh, within the first three minutes. Uh, unfortunately, I think that actually sort of uh, uh, hampered us in the first half uh, I think we thought the game would be easier than it ended up being. Uh, we gave up an equalizer shortly uh, after scoring our, our initial goal and, and did not play well in the first half. Um, we also ended up falling behind in the second half and uh, with the 23 minutes left in the game we're down 2-1. But uh, you are right, uh, we got it together, we righted, it, righted the ship. Uh, uh, last 20 minutes of the second half, I thought, uh, besides uh, finding an equalizing goal uh, 81 seconds after they went up 2-1, uh, we, we played better, we took over the game, we created a lot of opportunities, uh, we uh, got the ball out in the wide areas and did some of the things that we talked about in our uh, pregame speech with the players. And, um, you know, obviously we then found a way to uh, win in overtime, and I think it's uh, comforting to us to note that we once again scored on a set piece. I don't think we score exclusively on set pieces uh, by any means, but, but it is uh, uh, sort of a nice weapon to have in your back pocket, uh, knowing that uh, just about every other game we, we get a goal off of a corner or a free kick, in this case a free kick. Let's talk about Lander. What, what do you know about them? Obviously they're a very tough uh, draw every time you face them, uh, as evidenced by the series, but talk about what you expect when you go down there on Wednesday. Well, they got a couple of really special players. Uh, Casey Black, Kim Kessler, Hillary Ferguson are all uh, high, high-end players. So uh, uh, it's a, it's a well-organized program, well-coached program. Their kids always play hard. They play with a lot of passion and a lot of emotion, uh, and uh, uh, they're a, they're a tough out. Uh, I expect it to be a <clears throat> close game. I expect it to be <clears throat> excuse me another tough uh, uh, you know uh, road game in the PBC and. Uh, you know how I like to talk about, uh, you know, dividing the, the season up into segments, and we're now in a, in a, in a two-game segment, uh, which is uh, uh, sort of unique in the sense that they're both on the road. Uh, they're, they're both uh, games that are within a, 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 quite a distance from our campus. So we're going to face a, a long bus ride. We're going to have to get off the bus, warm up, and be ready to play from, uh, from the get-go. And they're both opponents that we lost to uh, with the same score last year, 2-0. So, so certainly we're out to uh, try to uh, flip the script on both of these teams, hopefully. But we have a tremendous amount of respect for both Lander and uh, the game that, that uh, follows that one, which is uh, our contest against uh, uh, Georgia College on Saturday. We're here with uh, head men's soccer coach Phil Hines on preview on uh, Wednesday evening's matchup at Lander in Greenwood, South Carolina. Uh, Coach, I'm going to go a different route here rather than go to your last game. Let's talk about your team. Just coming off a five-game unbeaten streak, dropped a, two to, a tight 2-1 to one game on Saturday uh, against Flagler. Talk about the progression of your team. Obviously, it's a much different team than what you saw in the first maybe three or four yeah. games. Yeah, the kids have done you know extremely well. I was, I was really happy with the performance against Flagler. I definitely thought we should have got something out of the game. Um, you know, 2-1, we hit the crossbar and we, we had a couple of real close misses. So progress has been tremendous. I mean, I'm really happy with the effort and uh, the chemistry in the team is excellent and, uh, you know, I, again, I'm, I'm just very happy with the direction that we're going. And before you started this three-game road trip, you talked about how tough it was going to be. It yeah. doesn't get any easier for you. You get to go to Greenwood uh, on yeah. Wednesday night to face a really tough Lander squad. Yeah. Talk about what you know about them and, and the series against them. Yeah, it's, it's, again, it's going to be difficult. Um, you know, every game right now is, is, is very hard, though, but they're, they're a good team. You know, they had a good win at Montevallo the weekend. Uh, but I think you know we have a good game plan, and I think just like every other game right now in the conference, it's going to be difficult, but it's it's going to be close as well. So we just got to keep ourselves in the game as long as possible, and see if we can get something.